Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I want to show you how to clean up your alpha so that you can use alpha mats properly without having a bunch of transparency in them. So, what I mean by that is I'll show you on my uh, comps here. I pretty much just took a some footage of this uh, AK-47 which I have to credit who I got it from I got it from cutestockfootage.com and this one was free and you can just download it and use it if you want to follow along or you need some free green screen footage so I have this um, that I keyed out using a color keyer and After Effects that's native and let me show you the alpha of it right here on this uh, RGB thing we click on that and it drops down and we go to alpha and let me take off the background and you can see that the alpha isn't totally black and white because when I keyed it, it keyed out some of the color values that were in the gun or left them in there so it was either one or of the two so now we've got an alpha that has gray area in it so some of that will probably be um, a little transparent and I'll show you this uh, when I go back to RGB and if I set this to have uh, the track mat for this you can look and if you look closely you can see that it's uh, semi transparent here and in other parts of the gun and uh, that's not that's not what I wanted. I wanted a full white alpha that isn't messed up like I'll show you again. Take that off and then we'll move this one down. Turn this off. And this one has been corrected so that it is fully white and does not have any transparency in it. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. Let me turn all this back on. I'll turn the blotchy one off. And I'll just, uh, I'll basically start from scratch. And uh, we'll uh, key something out real quick and I'll show you how to do that really quick without going in too much in depth. So let me take this uh, track mat off. I'm going to bring in my video footage that I have, which is this bring it down and we've got this video footage of this gun kind of like moving around I'm gonna put it a, we'll just keep that full for now so on the video footage go to effect keying key light and in CS6 it's key light 1.2 we're gonna take this screen color right here we're gonna click on the dropper and then we're gonna click close to the gun here and it's going to take away pretty much everything we've got a little bit going on here we, we can increase uh, this screen gain maybe to take away some of that edge uh, stinking adaptive resolutions going off going all crazy on me so we got not that way. We're making it too. Just, just mess with these values. Uh, it's, it's messing with the background too, which I didn't want. So we're not going to mess with the screen gain or screen balance. We're going to come down here to screen mat, and uh, we want this clip black right here and we're gonna increase that a little bit and it's gonna eat away at the edges so we don't have to see that green on there but you don't want to go too far to eat away like all of the what's going on there so that's pretty decent right now now if I take a look at the alpha by turning off the background and coming to this and looking at the alpha we can see that it's blotchy and that's not what we want we want it to be full 
So I'm going to show you how to fix your alpha real quick. Go to effect, and then come to um, color correction, and we'll go to levels, and let's go to levels individual controls. That's a, uh, we're going to come down here to alpha, and we'll switch this to our alpha again, so we can look. And we're going to adjust these to make the alpha all white. So I think it says alpha output white, and we're going to increase that. Yep. And you can hold shift to make it go faster. But we want to get it just so it, it gets everything. So we still have some there. So let's keep on increasing. And that looks good. Now if we go back to our RGB... We look here and I don't see much transparency. By the way, this isn't, it's not a perfect uh, key here. I mean, you can see some green around his, uh, his fingers and around this right here, but I didn't want to go into full depth about keying. I just wanted to give you something to work with if you wanted to follow along. So now we've got our alpha that is fixed and solid. Now if I put it over top of my background and move it right above the background and set it to alpha mat, we're going to see that it correctly works and has the alpha mat in there. So if I switch to inverted, it's going to take out everything and not leave anything showing in, in, inside. So that's how you clean up your mats if you ever need to. Having a gray mat and trying to use an alpha with it is going to cause uh, transparency issues. So you want your alpha is usually black and white unless you want to have transparency. For example, if you're using smoke or something like that and you have a footage of smoke with an alpha channel and you want it to kind of like blend in nicely. So that's just an example. That's all for fixing up your mats. Hope you guys have a good day. See you later.